Hey gems, welcome back, it's Lorraine, and today I'm here with June favorites. Can you believe we're ready in July? I can't, it's going by too fast. I'm not ready for it, but you know what? We gotta keep up, so that's what we're gonna try to do today. Um, and yeah. I have an interesting assortment this month, so let's get into it. But of course, first off, if you're not part of the Gems family, click the like, the the sub the like, the subscribe button so you can join us. <laughs> click the like if you enjoy this type of video, and of course the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. With that said, let's get into the faves. So I'm gonna start off with a skincare one. This is kind of a weird one for me because I used to hate this stuff. I wear it, but I've always hated it. I've always hated how thick and disgusting and greasy these things are. I don't like the smell, like the fake coconut smell most of them have. I am talking about sunscreens, and the one I've been loving is from Super Goop. It's a Super Power Sunscreen Mousse Broad Spectrum SPF 50. It's water resistant for up to 80 minutes, and honestly, you guys, I love this because it is a mousse, so it absorbs like that. And I started using this earlier this month because a friend of mine was like, you know you have to protect your tattoos from the sun, right? Like, they'll fade a lot faster if you don't put SPF on them. And I was like, oh, dang it, I hate sunscreen. So I remembered that I had gotten this as a gratis item from Sephora last year when I was working there, and I was like, well, might as well bust it out instead of spending money on something else. And I actually really do like this one. It's a mousse that absorbs really quickly. It doesn't leave me feeling um, greasy and gross and slimy. It doesn't have much of a scent. Just a slight like chemically scent like most of them, but it doesn't linger on you. So I can just apply this, smooth it on everywhere. It'll absorb like that and it's not annoying. So I really enjoy this. I feel like it probably will last me throughout the summer because you a little bit goes a long way. You don't need too much. I'm not in the sun that often anyways, but I do use this on the daily, specifically on my arms because when I'm driving, my hands and arms are in the sunlight. So I do like to keep them protected while I'm driving or if I'm going to go run some errands, you know, I do apply it, but I don't like reapply it throughout the day. I probably should, but I don't feel like leaving this in the car because it'll probably explode in the heat. So... I do enjoy this product though, I do think it's worth the money, and I do think it'll last throughout most of the summer for you. Honestly, a little bit goes a long way. So, that's item number one. Numero dos, skincare. Um, I went back to the Clear Pore Cleanser Slash Mask from Neutrogena. I've mentioned this countless times before over the years. I love this because it's a benzoyl peroxide based cleanser, versus most acne treatments from the drugstore are salicylic acid based, and I don't really get good results from salicylic acid. I don't react to it in a negative way, I just don't react to it at all. Like, it really doesn't do much, but benzoyl peroxide does clear out my breakouts like that. Like I've noticed it over the years. Um, I use the clean and clear like 10% benzoyl peroxide spot treatment overnight a lot of the times, but this one just keeps everything regulated. I was kind of having some issues with breakouts and decided to go back to this and I'm not sorry. Also, I love this because it has like menthol in it, so it does have this cooling sensation, which I had mentioned. I really wanted the Ula Hendrickson Deep Plunge mask that they have. I think that's what it's called. They have this new mask and it was part of like my products I'm too broke to purchase video which I'll link down below if you didn't see. But that was on my wish list and honestly guys I got a couple samples of it this month and I was not impressed. It's really not that cooling. It really didn't do that much for my skin. Whereas with this one overnight results, instant like refreshing feeling. I love this and the cooling effect from this actually lasts after you wash your face too. Like it stays there for a little while which is really really nice. So I've been loving this once again. I don't know how many bottles I've gone through in my life. It's been a few though and I'm not sorry that I purchased this. I got this at Target and it's like six dollars maybe that. So it's cheap, it's effective, I love it. So definitely glad I got it back in my skincare routine. Then along with that, I have been using my Clarisonic. I've had this for three to four years now. I know these aren't very um, accessible. They are pricey. But again, for a three to four year investment, this has worked quite well for me. And I hadn't used it for the past few months, honestly, because I was really lazy about charging it. I'm not going to lie. I was just kind of like, oh, I'll get to it later. Mm, yeah, tomorrow. And, you know, it was just one of those, like, I kept forgetting to charge it. Got back to it this month, and I really, really like it. It's so nice at the end of the day, once I remove my makeup, to just kind of let this do that, like, spa, relaxing, kind of massaging, cleansing, everything at once moment. It has a one-minute timer, so you're not sitting there for too long, you just kind of let it do its thing, don't press too hard, just kind of let it glide over your skin, it just kind of cleanses everything well, it gets rid of everything you need it to, but without being too harsh or damaging, so I love this thing, again I've had it forever and I'm not sorry. Alright, last but not least, um, another tool. This is the Flawless. This is a hair removal tool, which sounds kind of weird, but I've always struggled with like shaving like my mustache or like my little 
um, beard here. I have a mole here, which, as if it wasn't disturbing enough to have a mole, because we all know how attractive those are. Yeah. Um, this is kind of a family heirloom. My grandpa had it in that spot. My mom has it in that spot. It's just like a hand-me-down from my family, which I really didn't need, but okay, we're gonna roll with it. And it does, it does get gnarly, I'm not gonna lie. It does get some hairiness going. So I've always struggled to kind of get rid of that too. I've been like insecure about it my whole life. But with this, you literally just judge it over where you need it to remove the hair. It doesn't pull it out. It doesn't cut you. It doesn't, you don't feel anything. Literally all you feel is just gliding over your skin. And it gets rid of the hair so I love this thing it wasn't my monthly favorites last month but honestly I had it for like five days at that point and I didn't feel like it was kind of a fair thing even though I was like loving it I was like I probably should have given it more time I've given it more time now and I'm still freaking like mind blown I love this it's super easy it has a little light so you can see what you're doing if you're like in your car in a parking lot, it's dark and you just need to see what you're doing a little bit better or if it's late and you need to touch up before a date, whatever the circumstances are, it lights up and I love it. So definitely, definitely recommend this. $20, totally worth the price tag, guys. Totally. I would buy two if I needed it. Like, it would be good to have one with me in a purse if I carried a purse, but I don't. But it's a thought. You know, <laughs> I just really love this thing. So. Alright guys, moving into the makeup. So I do have a foundation combo I've been using quite a bit and I... I really don't like either of them by themselves, like I have to mix either of them with something else to get them to work, but the combo worked really nicely, and I'm talking about my Tarte Gel Hybrid Foundation, which if you can't find this, it's because they repackaged it and named it the Shape Tape Foundation, and yes, there was a whole controversy about that, but same formula. So I have this in the shade Light Neutral. Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation was the original name, but I know for a fact they switched it to the Hybrid, to the Hybrid, to the Shape Tape, so yes, it's the same thing. This one is just the tiniest bit too orange for me, so I've always had to mix it with something else. Generally, I use the MAC um, Studio Waterway SPF 30 in NC20, but this month I decided to use the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation because this one is too pale for me um, and a little bit too pink-based. So I decided to give them a try. I'm wearing it right now, and it does have really good staying power. It's a pretty decent color combo for me. I really like it. It's like my sixth or seventh time wearing it, and... I enjoy this combo, so it's always good to give it a try, um, to give com combining things a try. Like if this formula isn't quite right, but this color isn't quite right, and the formula's a little bit better, sometimes if you put them together, you get what you need, and that's what happened there. So I've been really enjoying that combo. Along with those, I've been using the One Heck of a Blot Instant Perfecting Power Primer from Soap and Glory. I've mentioned this before. I'm actually almost out, which is why I was using it so much this month. I really just wanted to finish up a primer because I have so many that I was like if I can get to the bottom of this one that will just like motivate me to keep going I have almost finished it I think I have like two uses left if that but I do really like it it's a good formula my using it over and over this month made me realize how much I enjoyed it it smooths my skin and it says it has 12 hour shine block matte spheres I don't think anything's gonna stop you from sweating I'm just gonna be realistic like that I use this as well as the mattifying primer from makeup forever together and you know I'm still getting a little bit of a shine and I'm okay with that because girl you're still gonna sweat let's be realistic so they both work really well though specifically this one though I would repurchase if I didn't have other primers to get through so I figured I'd mention that all right Oh, I do have an eye primer that surprised me. I've had this for a few months and I really didn't want to love it as much as I do. It's the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. I've used the original and I don't love that one, but I love this one because it's just a yellow enough formula to like make a smooth canvas on my lids. Like it just matches my lids nicely enough. It kind of corrects any like discoloration on there. So it makes a really good primer because it just makes it all one shade. Then what I'll do with that is I will pat Max Blanc Type all over it. And that sets it perfectly. I'll just literally just tap it over with my finger. And it makes the perfect base for other eyeshadows to blend over, to glide over. I've used it underneath cream shadows and it works well. So this little combo right here... Again, I'm loving it. I've been using it for a few months, and honestly, I was really impressed because it's been pretty warm this summer so far, and my eyeshadow is staying in place because of this little combo. So, and again, I've used the original of this, and I don't like that one at all. But this, you know, colorful version is better. I don't know why it is, but it is. So, there you have it. 
All right, one lipstick and then we'll move into a couple random stuff. So first off, the lipstick is the L'Oreal Fairest Nude. This is just part of their regular, I don't know what line it is. It doesn't say. L'Oreal Color Riche. I've had three or four of these bullets before. Ferris Nude is just like the perfect nude on me. I'm wearing it right now. It's not too pink. It's not too brown. It's just a really nice subtle in between. It's that swatch right there. I was playing with other colors to apply today, but that's the one that won. And if it doesn't look the same on my lips, it's because I do have a more brown based lip liner. And then I applied the Ferris Nude on top, but I love this thing. Again, I've gone through like three or four of these. Really, really like this. It's like the perfect nude for my skin tone. So that's why I've been loving that and I've been reaching for it a lot this past month. If I haven't been wearing this though, I've been wearing my Ofra liquid lips. The Verona, Manhattan, Pasadena is like my OG. That's like another beautiful everyday kind of nudie, brownie, pink rose kind of color. Love that shade. Um, as well as Santana. So yeah, the Ofra liquid lips or this one. I have the Ofra. I have quite a few of them. This is another one I really like. Americano. Another really good one. So yes, this is my favorite liquid lip formula. That and the Tarte Tardist liquid lip formula. But I've been using Ofra a lot this past month. Alright. I think that's pretty much it for the beauty stuff. I do have one random product that's kind of um, beauty tied, but it's more of like a supplement, so like healthcare, but it's the Vital Proteins Beauty Collagen. I did purchase this because I saw Ingrid Nilsson mention it in her previous months, so like her May favorites. She had purchased the unflavored one and put it in her coffee. I decided to go with cucumber aloe because it's available at Target. This was pretty pricey, and I only use one scoop. It says to use two, but I like to use one because I have always loved cucumber water. When I was a server um, a couple years back, I would get a big cup of water. I would put in some cucumber, some lemon, one little sugar packet for a 32 ounce cup of water, some ice, mix it all together, and I would just sip on that throughout the day. So I know I love cucumber flavor in my water. This cucumber aloe, the aloe doesn't make it taste weird or anything, but what I like to do is do one scoop of that into a big cup of water. I'll squeeze in another fresh lemon. I'll put in a couple drops of agave syrup and it just makes a really yummy, flavorful, you know, beverage. This really won't last me very long. I go through these super quickly. I only do one a day though because I don't want to like go crazy on the college and like you don't want to OD on anything. So I do just use one scoop in the morning and that's it. I'll finish this up. Then switch to my peppermint, no, not peppermint, spearmint tea because I've mentioned a couple months ago how much I love spearmint tea. So I've been drinking that a lot. I just, I'm trying to avoid soda, but I need some flavor in my water. So it's either tea or my collagen. I'm loving it so far. So let me know what you've been drinking because I know it's kind of weird, but it's working. I feel like my skin is definitely clearing up. It has a lot to do with the cleanser I'm using, but I also feel like this is helping too. So, yeah, been really enjoying that. All right, I'm moving into non-beauty favorites. Number one, a TV show. You guys know what I'm going to say. The new season came out this month, and oh my gosh, Queer Eye got to me again. I cry every single time, like all the time when I watch that show. But like a good, happy, like, oh my gosh, it's beautiful kind of cry. Not like, a, you know, like someone died kind of cry. You know, there's different. It's a good ugly cry, but I ugly cry every single episode because I just love them so much and like the impact they make. So I've been loving that. Um, then Hulu recently brought out one of my favorite animes, feature length film. So Sword Art, on Sword Art Online, why can't I say that? SAO had Ordinal Scale come out back in 2017, I want to say, last year. And I went to see it at the movie theaters by myself because I'm that, that big of a nerd. I was going to go with someone, they bailed. I was like, I don't care, I'm going anyways. I want to see it by myself and I've been trying to get my hands on it but it's like an $80 DVD and I just can't afford that life. So when I was on a Hulu, I was like, yes, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I've literally watched it twice and every time I'm just like, I could watch that again right now, but I'm not going to. So yeah, I'm really excited. Like, thank you, Hulu. Thank you for giving us options when it comes to our, you know, nerdiness because that's where I watch most of my anime. So I've watched that and I rewatched Noragami just because it's another good show. So if you're an anime nerd like me and you haven't seen those, what are you doing with your life? Go watch them. Um, and then <laughs> I do have a book to share with you guys and that would be the How to Read a Photograph Lessons from Master Photographers. This is so cool. I really just thought it was going to be like how to like edit your work kind of a book. But no, it is like a comp compilation of like biographies and behind the scenes stories of famous photographers and some of the more famous pieces. So everything from, you know, um, 
Weston to, God, I always forget her name, Dorothea Lang. There's the other one who's known for his Ansel Adams. That one. I always forget that one too. Um, but so many like famous photographers like tells you like this story was taken during blah, 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 blah. You know, it's just a really fascinating. If you're into photography and history, like this will hit both for you perfectly. Like it's so, so good. I borrowed it from my library, which is why it has that. Um, so I still have a week to go and I still have a few, photog few photographers to read through, but I've been loving this. So again, if you're interested in history and photography, this will be one of book that you're going to love. I might just lose it by accident. I don't know. Or find it online used. <laughs> but yeah, a really good book. Like I'm tempted to be like, I lost it. How much are you going to charge me? At the same time, I'm tempted to just look it up online, but I really want to have a copy of this because it's freaking beautiful. So, all right, guys, that's it. I've rambled enough. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what some of your monthly favorites were in the comments down below. Have you tried any of these items? Do you love them as well? I'd love to hear your thoughts. So again, click the subscribe, hit the notification bell. Don't forget to click the like for me, and I will see you soon. Hope you have a great rest of your day.